Some people think design is all about aesthetics, the way things look. But there's a practical side that is the way things have to function properly. The trick, of course, is to bring those two aspects together for the best passenger experience and something the size of a floating Eiffel Tower. No more is this design wonder apparent than on board one of the newest and most luxurious passenger ships which Grand Designs Australia were invited to discover. Majestic Princess is like a graceful swan elegantly floating, whilst underneath the surface is a world of engineering marvels powering this giant. But keeping passengers unaware of the complexities that go behind their memorable moments is no small task. The experience when you're at sea is everything. So this is a very big ship. Yeah. It's enormous. Mm -hmm. But you've got a lot of people on board. Yeah. And to give over this much space yeah. is extravagant. I think it's quite unique that we have the largest atrium afloat. I would say this is the spirit of the Majestic Princess. It's where every, everything happens. It's like the heart of the ship, where every, everything comes together. When people walk on, they go, wow. And it's true. It was an incredible time given to the design. It's not just some parts slapped together, basically. It's just carefully planned and carefully scheduled. And you sit in this corner, you, you look at it, you go like, oh, wow, that's really nice. Mm. You go sit the next day in another corner, and you discover complete new things. There's a bit of marble in here. Yeah, there's a, bit, a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> when the ship uh, finished, uh, some people said there was no marble left in Italy because it's all on board Majestic Princess. <laughs> Is that yeah. right? <laughs> if you look at the ceiling, there's an amazing glass piece there, the chandelier. It's four meters of hand-blown glass, which simulates the, the ocean, the flow of the ocean, and it's cascading down the spiral staircases. And it's very unique to this ship because there's only one like these ones. It's like the waves. There's not one wave the same. The uniqueness applies to more than just the architecture on board even down to the detail in dining, where Michelin star chefs have crafted exceptional menus and an array of dining experiences that consistently perform and impress. Since I've been aboard, every meal I have had is extraordinary. It's blown my mind. We have over 350 chefs on board. People come on board cruise ships to experience not just where they're going to cruise, but they want to be adventurous with their food. It has to be precise. It has to be the top quality, because quality is what we're known for. Whilst above, the ship's restaurants are serenely serving up a variety of flavours, down below, expertly concealed, a flurry of activity is happening to create those dishes. Roy, thank you for having me in your absolutely incredible kitchen. It's enormous. Actually, yesterday we just had uh, 218 tonnes of uh, food on board. 218 tonnes of, yeah. of food that we bring on board for this 14 days voyage. How do you maintain the consistency and quality <laughs> yeah. in such, such an enormous operation? Um, every afternoon, before we start the service, especially for the dinner, uh, even in the lunchtime, we always do the food tasting. That's why I'm... <laughs> I'm like this. Oh, chefs are like that. <laughs> That's why they said, don't trust that skinny chef. <laughs> the floors, the benching, the exhaust system, the ceiling, the lighting, even the, the, what you're cooking with, the appliances, yes, yes. look tailor-made. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, we don't use any open flame on these uh, kitchens. No, and no, we, no flame at all. We are not allowed to use an open flame at sea. No yes. chefs like looking at the flame, they yes, can judge yes, what temperature yes. it is. Mo mostly, and this yes. is invisible cooking. Yeah. I mean, it's a little bit challenging here on board because compared to the land, here it's like we have to get all the fresh food, all the fresh items, vegetables, and then making sure that all the food that we serve is fresh. I'm uh, really, really proud of uh, what we're doing. Very, very proud of this one. This whole vessel is dedicated to ensure that the people who live on board are enveloped in a crafted ambience. And that's the art of design, to create and leave lasting memories.